thank you, Jesus. Mommy, thank you. Mommy, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Christ. And yes, the woman is here in our midst. Look at her, thanking God Almighty for what he has done in her life. Let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ. You can see her walking majestically to the glory of God. Well, you're welcome in Jesus' name. Please tell us your name, the person standing next to you, and share with us your beautiful testimony. Imanwe. My name is Janet Ojerile. My, my daughter's here, uh, um, Elizabeth Ojerile. I want to come to thank, to thank God. This is what God do for me. Because since two weeks now, I don't get myself. Two weeks now, I don't get myself. I can't. I can't, I can't, I can't shout. I fought down. They told me go carry firewood where I take the fried fish. I can't fight down. I this show, I buy rub, I buy medicine, I take and do one. You should not pay me. You can't reach two weeks later. I can't, I can't get a dream. They give me food for a dream. I, I don't eat the food. You can't reach the week again. That is say I not chop the food. Like I said, they go to my village for that dream. I reach our near river that they call the river Umwebi. I want to climb the river two steps to this step. The bridge, he cut it or two. When he cut it or two, one stick in the near river there. I don't know how God. I got carry me near the fire. I can't hold the wood. I can't hold the wood. I hold the wood. After I hold the wood, ah, I can't say, now during my day, I can't open my eye. After I open my eye, you can't reach money. I can't call my daughters. I dream oh. See, dream why I dream oh. All my, all my daughters, hey, mommy, thank God, say, I know I enter the river. We say, now, I enter the river. Not dead. I say, ah, God, I'll come church. Oh, me make the arrange me for, for prayer life. Now I can't come church. I not feel work. I not feel do anything. To peace. Now my daughter. Now I go carry rubber, pet rubber for under bed. When you want to come, I not feel go market again. I not feel do anything. at this guy. Now they, now they throw away my piece. Do only two weeks. It be like two to two years. It be like someone die. All my body can't dry. All my face can't dry. It can't be like an old 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 mama who don't show dress. I say my piggy Jane not be die. I want die so. All my piggy they cry. Say mommy, we not go die. We not go die. We go live. Now I can't come. Show prayer line. I can't come prayer line. After crap, I call prayer line. Mommy, Pastor, Pastor Joshua, our mommy, he done now. Our mommy, he pray for me. Ah, my leg, that my leg, way heavy me. I don't feel what I, now once my mommy touch her. My mommy touch her. Ah, I don't take her walk on my body free since that time. This is my daughter called say, Mommy. Go ahead, don't say. Again, let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ. Yes, in the desert, tears of joy. We can see Mommy thanking God Almighty for what he has done in her life. Mommy has explained to us that the problem that brought her here was difficulty in walking. And she just had this problem for two weeks. But the two weeks she had this problem felt like two years for her. Mama fell down, and because of this fall, she developed a pain in her legs. And because of this, Mama couldn't go out. She couldn't go anywhere, even to her workplace. She couldn't go. She still had a dream of seeing herself crossing a bridge. And when she wanted to cross the bridge, the bridge broke into two, and she, f and she was about to fall in that dream. And that was how she woke up. And after waking up from that dream, the pain increased in that, 
in that leg that she was having the pain before. And mama came here to the Synagogue Church of All Nations last week, Sunday, and Pastor Evelyn Joshua prayed for her. God used her to bring healing in the life of mama. And now you can see mama thanking God Almighty for what he has done in her life. Once again, let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ. So mama, once again, for the benefit of those listening to you, just tell us, how did this problem affect you? And who were the people assisting you during that period before you came here to the Synagogue Church of All Nations? That, that, that problem, but to, to eat itself, to work out, go aside, to peace. Now, this is my guy, now they do everything to me. Sometimes you, you go, they cry, mommy. Now that one dies, so I say, no, I'm not going to die. I, I know the God where I deserve. I'm not dying. Now, my business, everything on down. I'm not going to do anything again. I'm not going to, the future, the future, I'm not going to feel do anything. But I thank God today. I take my two legs, Waka, come here. I need really thank God. That clap is not enough for the God who has brought healing and deliverance into her life. Yes, my, my mother explained that this problem has really affected her greatly. She was unable to even go and use the toilet to ease herself. She couldn't do anything without the assistance of her daughter. Even her business, she had to close it because of this problem that she had. But when she came here last week Sunday, she received her healing. And you can see her using her legs to walk here to thank God Almighty for what he has done in her life. Once again, let us put our hands together for Jesus. So, Mama, for the benefit of those listening to you, once again, can you demonstrate to us the things that you can do now that you couldn't do before? Now, see me. Now, see me. Now, don't they walk? Anything now, see me, I do not go do. When I make I run, I go run. Mommy, don't hit me. Me, now, see me. All churches. Me, now, see me. Let us put together for Jesus Christ. And they see me. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Mama is thanking God, and we can see her demonstrating the things that she couldn't do before to the glory of God. Once again, let us put our hands together for Jesus. So, Mama, with this wonderful work of God in your life, what is your word of encouragement to those listening to you right now? Uh, my encouragement is, uh, may person near God. Make you believe God. Let say, go to Waka Waka. Go go Babala, go go church, go go anywhere. Believe God, well deserved. I know that I believe God, now they come. Where did they hear me? Oh, yeah. Where I stand for like this? They could not believe God. Don't walk anywhere. Yes, Mama is telling us that we should trust in God. We should believe God for our healing and our deliverance. That we should all put our faith in God and God would not fail us. Once again, let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ. So let us listen to your daughter. Let's hear a word or two from her. You're welcome in Jesus' name. Please introduce yourself and tell us about God's goodness in the life of your mother. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. My name is Elizabeth Olagauma, and the person beside me here is my mom. I want to thank God for what he has done in my mother's life, for using Pastor Evan Joshua to heal her from the problem of difficulty in walking. One day, she fell down when she wanted to go and uh, fetch firewood. So when she came back, she started complaining of leg pain and her toe. But it was not severe, but she just bought drugs and walked to maintain the leg. Then several weeks later, she started complaining that it's becoming serious, that she cannot use it to do anything. That if to even come down from the bed, she needs support, and I'll be the one to support her. And I want to thank God that since last week, after Pastor Evelyn Joshua has prayed for her, she's able to come down from the bed by herself, use the toilet by herself, and go to her workplace by herself because she sells fish. Thank you, Jesus. Once again, let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ. Yes, we thank God Almighty for what he has done in the life of your mother and also your family. 
So with this wonderful work of God in her life, what is your word of encouragement to millions of people listening to you? My word of encouragement to people and to children, always trust in God. Like in the Bible, the Bible says that God did not promise us that we will not have trials and temptations. But he said in his word that we see us through. Just believe in him, trust in him, and he will see you through. Espectadores de todo el mundo, acabamos de escuchar el maravilloso testimonio de la señora Janet. Ella vino a la sinagoga iglesia de todas las naciones por un problema de una fractura en su pierna. Nos cuenta que estaba haciendo sus actividades diarias y tuvo un accidente y por causa de este accidente empezó a tener un dolor severo en su pierna que con el tiempo fue empeorando. Ella ya no podía realizar sus actividades diarias y estaba dependiendo de la ayuda de su hija Elizabeth que vino hoy a testificar juntamente con ella. Cuando la pastora Evelyn Joshua oró por ella, inmediatamente se dolor desapareció y ahora ya está completamente sana y como hemos visto en pantalla ahora puede hacer todo lo que antes no podía, le da toda la gloria a Dios y nos aconseja creer en Dios y confiar en Él. El espectador permanece conectado. El espectador, nos venimos a escuchar el testimonio de Madame Janet que nos viene de Nigeria, ella dice que ella no podía más marchar desde dos semanas debido a una chute, ella tenía dolores y suite a cela, ella hizo un rêve en el que ella es tombé y la dolor se ha accentué, ella no podía más marchar y su piel se ha même desseché y ella tenía même peur, ella pensaba que ella iba a morir. Ses enfants l'ont encouragée à venir à la synagogue, église de toutes les nations, et elle est venue, elle a eu l'opportunité d'être placée sur la ligne de prière, elle a reçu un toucher de la pasteur Evelyne Joshua, et maintenant elle est libre, et elle peut marcher librement, son corps est léger. Elle donne pour conseil qu'il faut croire en Dieu, qu'il faut se rapprocher de lui en cas de problème, et avoir la foi. Nous avons écouté le témoignage de sa fille, qui confirme les bienfaits de Dieu dans la vie de sa maman, et elle remercie Dieu pour cela. Elle donne pour conseil, destinée aux jeunes, qu'il faut faire confiance à Dieu. Téléspectateurs, restez connectés. Put your hands together for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. 